Today, I teach you how to make your Pokemans swole. What's up guys? I'm back and today I'm going to teach you probably the most valuable thing to know about whipping your Pokeboys into shape. And what I mean by is EV training them. And uh, if you don't know what EV training is, it you effectively have 508 EVs that you can use on one Pokemon. And uh, you can distribute that into any stat you would like. So you can have a maximum of 252 EVs per stat. So you can max out two stats and then spread the last four that you have to whatever stat that it may be. Whatever you see fit. So I got some boys here that need to be trained. They're, uh, they've been bred and they're ready to be EV trained now. Um, which is totally separate from IVs. Your IVs are right here. You see as you have your IVs, your HP is best. So that's the maximum potential you can get out of that stat without being trained in it. So one thing most people don't know is how many points do you get for each EV. So for the first four, you get one point. But after that, it's every eight points. So that's very important to know. A lot of people think it's every four, which is not. It's the first four count as one, and then after that, every eight. And uh, I want to show you where to get some of these useful things to EV train. Um, I'm going to be going over what I think is the simplest method of doing it. There are other ways, um, like pokey jobs. Um, but I'll just find this the quickest and easiest way. So let me show you some items here that you can use. So you have these like HP up, proteins, irons, carbos, they all do a, a stat of their own and then you have feathers which they increase the stat by one, the feathers do. that Whatever stat that that, uh, that feather increases. And um, so like you have the health feather increases your health by one EV. The muscle feather increases your attack by one EV. And then you have the proteins, um, HP up, protein. These can all be bought for 10,000 a piece at a store that I will show you later in the video. But these will increase your each stat by 10 EVs. So this is obviously the most effective way and quickest way to EV train. So let me show you where to get these items. So here's the bridge. This is the breeding bridge is what I call it. That's where uh, all the Pokemon come to do their thing but uh so here's on the map as you can see right up here right up right in the middle of the of the wild area you'll see this little area it's the pokemon nursery so you can fast travel there i'm, I'm already there but i'm just gonna show you you can fast travel right here and you're in front of this nursery and there's this bridge you can kind of start walking you see things shining here so let's pick this up you found a resist feather my face is kind of in the way but I'm telling you, this is where you go to get these feathers. Here's one here. Got another, I got the clever feather. There's feathers all over this bridge. And these feathers will give you one EV of the particular feather that you get. So these are kind of interesting if you're just trying to cap out. So you use 25 of the ones that boost you by 10. So say you use HP up and you use 25 of them. You still have two you can put in HP. So you can use two health feathers to just finish that out. Um, a lot of times I'm just going to just straight up use 26 of the HP ups because I'm just lazy. I don't feel like picking up feathers all the time. But if you don't have that much money and you, you're just trying to get a Pokemon train real quick, the feathers help out a lot, especially when you don't have a lot of like uh, BP and stuff and you can't spend um, all your money on that. But okay, so that's where you get the feathers. So let me show you where to get the big boy stuff. The big boy stuff right here, Winden all the way right below the battle tower now you won't be able to really access this place until you've beaten the game so I'm assuming most of you guys have already beaten the game by now um, there may be some new players that have not yet 
But let's go on into the Pokemon Center right here in Winden. And you talk to this guy right here on the right. See, he's like, look, look how happy he is to see me. He's like, yeah, my boy's back. He's like, I'm ready to get my money. This boy always be spending money here. So let's go ahead and talk to him. So I'm here to buy. You already know that, buddy. So we have HP up. All these things will effectively raise your stats. So I'm going to go ahead and train a Pokemon for you guys so you can see what it's like. And I'm going to show you guys a way to make money as well to do this. There's two ways you can make money. I will just stick around to the end of the video and I'll teach you that as well. So let's go ahead. I'm going to buy 24. I already have two in the bag. So let me get them HP ups. That's what I want. Give me them. And I'm going to go ahead and go for the defense one. So let's raise my defense as well. Because this, this is the certain Pokemon that I'm training like this. I'm just going to buy 15 because I'm going to need more later anyway. Oh, that would just happen to be the right math. And then let me get this, the Zinc. Let me just buy one of these boys. I don't need to, but I'm going to. And I'm going to EV train a Pokemon right here for you guys to see. Okay, so in each Pokemon, you're going to want different stats. You can also look up Picolytics. If you don't want to really in-depthly train your Pokemon, you just want to get some stats max. You can go on to Picolytics, go to the Pokemon, type in the Pokemon you like, and you can see how most people EV train it, and you can just copy their the way they did it, the most used way. Um, which is fine if you're not like super, super, super competitive. That will work just fine on the ladder. So let's go ahead and move. I'm going to be doing a Turtonator. I'm just going to EV train him because I'm going to try to use this boy later on somehow, some way. Um, so what you're going to do, get him in your party. Let's go to the bag. I want to max out his HP. So you can have 252, like I said earlier, in each stat. So I'm going to go ahead and spend all 26 on him. Alright, just for the sake, I'm going to do the 25 to show you guys how the feathers work. Okay, so my HP base points have risen. Okay, and then you see it only rose by one, but that's because he needs to level up for the rest of that to start figuring in. Um, as the Pokemon levels up, those extra points will be added in. Um, and we'll go ahead and use the health feather. We'll use two health feathers. To give him max as you can see I have five but it will only let me use two so that lets you know you're you've hit your limit so let's go ahead and max it out and let me show you what it does if you try to give it another one it will not have any effect so he that tells you he is maxed out in that stat okay and I also want to max out his defense so let's go ahead and use the iron I'm gonna show you guys just how the iron like I'm just gonna use all 26 iron it, it You'll lose like the 8 or whatever, but it doesn't matter to me. That's fine. So I got my 252 in defense now as well. And now we choose where we want to spend our last four EVs. So since this is a defensive Pokemon, I'm just, and he's slow, so there's no use to put in anything in speed. His speed is so slow that you're never going to outspeed anything. So don't waste any points in that. His point is to just be a tank. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in special defense. Right, so let's go ahead and use a zinc. This will go ahead and fill out the rest of your EVs. I can't use any more. See, it only let me use one. That tells you you're, you're maxed out. And you can't use anything else on him now. See, it won't have any effect. Let's try to boost his speed. It won't have any effect because he has used all 508 of his EVs. So um, now let me show you. Some more special stuff. So we have him EV train. Let's put him in. Let's just put him away. I had him in my little needs training here. He no longer needs training. He is a BR. I have that. That is a battle ready Pokemon. That's I just I separate those so I know these are all EV trained Pokemon. Okay. So now I'm going to show you guys how to actually get the money to do this. So. You're going to want to go to the wild area, first thing. Let's go ahead and go here. Let's get wild. Let's get wild out there. Let's go out. I am arriving. Okay. So I'm in the wild area. And I'm going to show you guys how to farm watts. So what you want to do, let's avoid this big boy. Stick with me. These watts are important. See, I have 245,000. You may not have any. 
Okay, so let me show you the first thing you want to do. You want to make sure you're not connected to the internet. Is the first thing you want to do. So my switch is not connected to the internet. You want to throw a wishing piece in. Voila, now you have a DIN. So you want to go to it. And you can also use this method to reset DINs until you get the Pokemon you want. So more valuable information for you guys. And uh, let's go ahead. You hit invite others. Home. Go to your system settings. All the way down to your system. Go to date and time. Right here. Go down to date and time again. Switch the day. As you can see, I've been using this method already, so this is not the correct date. So you just want to go ahead one day exactly. Hit OK. Back out. Go back into your game. Quit looking for uh, partners. You have to be offline for this. That's crucial. Just so you guys know. And now you see the den has reset. Look at that. I just got 2,000 watts. You gained 2,000 watts. And you have a new den Pokemon. So let's do it one more time just to show you guys. Invite others. Hit your home button. Go to your system settings. Fly all the way down to system. Go to date and time. Date and time again. Up one day. Okay. Back out. Back in the game. Quit looking. And now I have 2,000 more watts. And you just rinse and repeat until you have the amount of watts you want. Now I'm going to show you why the watts are important. So you have watt traders in the wild. These little guys, they look like this. I'm going to show you where all of them are too. So what you're looking for, you're going to go up to them, say spend my watts. Right here at the top slot, each one's going to have a special Pokeball. And it changes every day and you cannot reset these. Like they're, they're, You can't do anything about it. So you're, what you're looking for is the luxury ball. And you, they're 100 watts a piece, but you can sell them for 1,500 a piece. So let's go ahead and try to find the one. So this is not the one we're looking for. He has the net ball. So you can fast travel to this one, but you have to kind of walk to most of them. Or in this case, ride our bike. So let me go ahead and show you right here. Going down. All the way next to the Lake of Outrage, there's another watt trader. So we're going to go down to him and see if he's got the luxury ball and we may not find the luxury ball today um, you'll just have to wait till the next day and search all the watt traders again which is fine because I don't need money right now but if you do I'm sorry you'll get it trust me spend my watts heal ball not what I need don't need any of these by the way I don't okay so there's that watt trader so that's two watt traders there's seven in total I think there's one right here you can fast travel directly to and he'll be right behind you at the nursery center right here. Let's talk to him. You got what I want, boy? You don't. You don't got what I want. So, the next one, I'll show you the next one you can fast travel to. There's one right here as well. East Lake Axel. And he's right here. And this is, I'm the way I'm getting around is the most effective way to get around. So, he also does not have... The timer ball I need. I'm just going to buy one of these. I need it. Alright, we're going to get that. Still no luxury ball. I'm hoping we got it. We still got three watt traders. So you can go down from this one. Take a left. Go towards this lake. I usually go... Some people... I mean, you can go up there. I usually go right here on the edge of the water. I make my way through this way. It's a little bit quicker and you don't have to worry about avoiding grass and stuff. It's just a little easier. You don't have to worry about these encounters. I could be missing all them shinies though. That wouldn't be good. And you go right here around this little grass. And you got a watch trader right here. Here he is. You got what I want, boy? Nope, he's got a netball as well. Oh, I need a sludge wave. I'm going to go ahead and get two of those. And also these moves in here they reset every day as well so there's some moves you can only find here so when you see moves you need you better grab them while they're there otherwise you're gonna be trying to get the per like the perfect raid in for it and it's just a task sometimes so we got two more watt traders left let's go on down here fast travel in the beginning of the wild area there's one right here spend my watts sadly he also does not have the luxury ball so, we got one more. Stick with me, guys. We're going to get this boy. 
So you go straight out to the left. Just go through these woods here. Just keep straight. You want to stick to the walls of the outside area. Just keep going left. Keep going left. We're going to find this boy. He up here. I promise you. And he should be right up here as soon as you see a berry tree. See, there's the berry tree. And there he is. He's in between the two berry trees here. Spin my watts. He also does not have the luxury ball. Um, I will add an updated video that shows the luxury ball just so you guys can see it. But when you see the luxury ball, what you want to do, let's, pr let's pretend this nest ball is a luxury ball. What you'll do is you want to accumulate 100,000 watts and then you just want to buy the maximum amount. So hit down and be like, okay, I want to buy 999 of them. So let's pretend these are luxury balls. Okay, I just bought all the luxury balls. The next thing you want to do is just go to any Pokemon Center, not your bag like I just did. Any Pokemon Center, it doesn't matter. Wow, what is wrong with me? Town map, that's where I want to go. This is where we're going, y'all. We're going to go right here. This is Pokemon Center. That's what we're looking for. We, we're here for money. We spend money, and now we're making money. So let's go on in here. So, as soon as I'm off this screen here. Alright, cool. Go in the Pokemon Center. Go up to the nearest boy you can find that buys and sells. Say, I want to sell. So what you'll do is you go over to your Pokeballs. And you'll go to your Luxury Balls. Do I have any? I might have some. I don't have any. And you'll just sell them all. And they're $1,500 a piece. So a full storage of them is 1.5 mil. So that right there is enough to fully EV train. It takes 10000 per... Um, bottle so you're effectively getting three Pokemon Eevee trained from one full thing of Watts alright I hope you guys found this video useful um, if there's any questions leave a comment down below I'll comment immediately as soon as I can anyway and I uh, try to answer your question about this um, if I went through something too fast of course you have my video you can just rewind back through Rewatch whatever you need. And uh, until next time, guys and gals, God bless and peace.